Welcome to another exciting episode of Hot Wheels Unboxing. This is your host, the Unboxing King. On this week's episode, we're going to continue to dig through this old banana box. There's a lot of cars in this box, so I broke them down into first editions, main lines, and series cars. Let's dig in and see what we got. First up, we have a 1999 first edition Monte Carlo concept car. This car is the flat version, but there is a candy apple red metallic version out there as well. I believe I have it somewhere in my collection. Next, we have a 1999 first edition baby boomer. Now this car is pretty cool. It's modeled after a baby stroller, except this one has twin blowers and exhaust coming out of the side. Next we have a 1999 first edition 1970 Chevelle SS. I don't understand why I have two of these. Can you spot the difference? If you can, leave it in the comments below. Here we have a 1999 first edition Olds Aurora GTS1. This is the silver version. And then I have the white version. And then I have another white version that is the Olds Aurora GT3, as you can see there. Here we have a 1999 first edition Ferrari 360 Modena. Now these little Ferraris fetch a pretty fair price because Ferrari and Mattel stopped working together in 2014, I believe. Next we have a 1999 first edition 56 Ford truck. I was really into hot rods at the time so this panel truck was definitely one for the collection. I always wanted to open one up and check what was under the hood though. Here we have a 1999 first edition Chrysler Pronto. <sighs> There's not much to say about the Pronto. My mother always said if I don't have anything nice to say don't say anything at all. Next up is a 2001 first edition So Fast. Now this So Fast was interesting, pretty plain for a first edition, no decals on it. I don't know, did great on the track though. Here we have a 2001 first edition 1971 Plymouth GTX. Classic muscle car, I really like the green paint job. Next up we have a 2001 first edition Ford Thunderbolt. This was a great looking car. It looked like it was supposed to be on a drag strip somewhere. Here we have a 2001 first edition Mo Scoot. Now this was a funny looking vehicle. Pretty cool though, at the time there was a lot of manufacturers making tech decks and small bicycles, so this was Hot Wheels version of that. Next up is a 2001 first edition Mono Posto. I don't love the Mono Posto. Might be a good looking car in theory, but the color scheme wasn't for me. Here's a 2001 first edition XSIVE. I never opened one of these, but they always look so interesting because the middle part was turned like that. I wonder what they did. If you know, leave it in the comments below. Next up, we have a 2001 first edition Morris Wagon. Now the Morris Wagon looked like a gasser, but a shortened Woody's gasser. That motor in the front is ridiculously huge. Here we have a 2001 first edition Honda Civic Si. Red, looks like it has a Wings West body kit on it uh, and that was pretty typical for the time and the era of that car. Next up we have a 2001 first edition Toyota Celica. The bright yellow paint job. Mm -hmm. 
Here we have a 2001 first edition Ford Focus. Now this car is low in the back. It's not my favorite looking car with that giant wing for downforce, I'm guessing. I don't really love that car, but it was definitely one for the collection. Next we have a 2001 first edition Old Number 3. And lastly, we have the 2001 first edition Surf and School Bus. It has a little bit more pizzazz to it with those windows that are kind of angled. And it has two surfboards in the back that don't come out, but still give it a cool look. That's going to be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.